briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Sandra Atticus, a white school teacher, found herself at the heart of a constitutional conundrum back in the early 1970s. Atticus turned to the courts for justice, bringing a lawsuit against S.H. Cress and company to the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York. She claimed that Cress had violated her equal protection rights, protected under the Constitution's 14th Amendment. Her sweeping allegations went as far as suggesting that Cress and the Hattiesburg police were co-conspirators. However, before the trial could take flight, the second count of the lawsuit was preemptively dismissed. As proceedings went underway, the scales of justice seemed to tip unfavorably for the determined schoolteacher. Atticus failed to substantiate her claim of a systemic refusal of service to whites accompanied by blacks, leading the court to rule in favor of A.H. Cress and company. This decision was later upheld by the Court of Appeals. Nonetheless, the Supreme Court, upon review, found that the lower court erred in granting summary judgment to Cress. What struck hardest was her subsequent arrest by local law enforcement on a charge of vagrancy. They took note of the absence of concrete evidence from Cress, proving that there was no policeman present during the contentious episode. This critical failure on their part opened a path for the inference of a collusive agreement between a policeman and Cress staff to deny service to Atticus. This palpable factual dispute led the Supreme Court to overturn the previous judgment and remand the case. Consequently, this set the stage for a new trial and another shot at justice for Atticus. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.